If you want to find out how you can use just 15 minutes of your time to find out two years worth of content ideas using my SEER strategy, then keep on watching. This week, you are in for a treat because I'm going to reveal to you all my secret strategy of finding fresh new ideas for my social media channel, such as YouTube, Facebook, and Instagram. As a content creator, we always have this headache of finding fresh new ideas revolving around our niche. In fact, I used to run off my ideas very, very frequently, and that's why I wasn't being able to be consistent in my posting. As a result, my YouTube channel subscriber was stuck at about 300 subscribers for more than a year. So this year, I set my goal to really grow on my YouTube channel and one of the strategy is to really produce constant new videos revolving my niche. So I spent a lot of time researching YouTube gurus like Vanessa Lau, as well as Sunny. I also spent thousands of dollars to attend YouTube classes and learn all the latest YouTube strategy. With all the strategies in my hand, all I need to do is to implement them step by step to grow my YouTube channel. And I will be also sharing all the strategies that I've learned in my weekly YouTube growth hack tutorial so that content creators like you can also grow your channel. So last week, I only had 388 YouTube subscribers on my channel before publishing my first YouTube growth hack, which is about niching down. If you still don't know why you should niche down in order to grow on YouTube channel, you should totally check out this video. And in just one week, I gained 25 subscribers and now I have more than 413 subscribers in my channel. Not too shabby for just one YouTube strategy. So I can see that the strategy is totally working. What I need to do and what you have to do is to keep on implementing them and keep on taking action. So coming back to this week's YouTube growth hack, how you can use my SEER S -E -E -R strategy to find two years worth of content idea revolving your niche in just 15 minutes. Number one, S stands for seasonal. When it comes to content idea, there are certain keywords and key phrases that are popular within a specific period of year. For example, every year we'll have Christmas, we have Valentine's Day, we have school holidays. So use these keywords that will definitely appear during certain periods of the year and attach it to your niche. For example, my niche is to teach people how to travel for free. So that's why on my YouTube channel, I share travel tips, travel for free strategies, as well as how to grow on social media so that we can expand our online presence as a travel influencer. And by using seasonal keyword, I know Easter is coming. And that's why I can make a video talking about where to travel during Easter holiday. And if your topic is about food and nutrition, you can also talk about how you can make very delicious yet healthy chocolate bunnies. The best part about seasonal keyword is they are so predictable. That's why you can plan out your content ideas way beforehand. Y stands for explosive. There are certain keywords and key phrases that are explosive within a short period of time. These trending keywords are perfect for your content idea. Recently, everyone is talking about coronavirus because everyone around the world is searching on the internet worrying about the outbreak of the coronavirus. And that is why I use this keyword coronavirus and attach it to my topic, which is travel. And I made a video talking about is it safe to travel to Japan in the midst of coronavirus? which became an instant hit and really garnered a lot more views compared to my other videos. If you want to find out how exactly I do it, check out the video right here. Another example of how I use explosive keyword will be the example right here, where I talk about places in the real world that actually look like Final Fantasy VII Remake. If you are a game fan of Final Fantasy VII, you will know that this game is launching soon in April and every game fan is talking about it on the internet. And that's why I link the game to my travel niche and make a video out of it. And as a result, the views are a lot more than my usual videos and that's why you can use the same strategy to boost your viewership. If you want me to make a video to share with you how exactly I find all these explosive keywords, comment explosive below and I will do a video just for you. Next E stands for evergreen. While there are certain keywords that are explosive, that are popular within a short period of time, there are also keywords that are constantly popular. That means they are constantly evergreen. One example will be country name such as USA, Singapore. There will always be people searching about these countries on the internet. Another evergreen keyword will be humans constant concern such as love, health and wealth. That's why I can make a video about how to traveling around Thailand for 14 days for free or I can talk about how to become a travel influencer at the same time get paid. Best part about evergreen topic is the demand for them will always be there. 
That's why you can also expect a consistent stream of traffic to your content. Here comes the final R, stands for research. There are two very important platforms that I want to share with you exactly how you can use them to generate a lot of ideas. The first one is Google. There are tons of information that are searched on Google every single day. And as a result, Google really knows best what information, what kind of topic, what kind of concern are people searching for exactly. That's why it will be a complete waste if you don't use Google to search for your content idea. So how exactly can you use Google effectively for your keyword research? Let me show you now. So how do you use Google effectively? All you need to do is to search on your topic. So for example, my topic is travel for free. What I need to do is I just search for travel for free and there will be many, many different uh, options, website coming out. But what we want to do is we focus on this area called people also ask because this is where Google actually gather all the data that uh, people all over the internet, they actually ask. So some people are asking, how can I travel for free? And if you click this little triangle, you just have to click and there goes the answer. So these are the, some of the answers provided by this website. You can use that to uh, come up with certain answer for, your, for this question. But what I want to show you is on top of this, how can I travel for free? And there is also other related questions that it's related to this topic, which is about travel for free. So how can I get paid travel? Another video idea that I can do, or how do you travel the world for a living? So this is another travel topic that I can do. But the magic part comes after you minimize it and you will see that the number of questions actually start to grow. So for example, I click, how can I travel for free in 2019? And I minimize it. Can you see this? How do you travel on a low budget? or how much does it cost for a couple to travel the world for a year? So these are the additional questions that actually people are searching for related to the questions I just clicked. Keep on doing this and you will have more and more video ideas. And the most amazing part is these video ideas are already questions that people are looking for answer on the internet. So that is why when you are able to create a video content or create whatever content that you want to create related to this question, you are literally addressing what people want to hear and that's why it can really get you a lot more traffic than just random questions that you come up by yourself. And here comes the final and most useful strategy for myself. Just one click of button, you can generate two years worth of content in five seconds. And the answer is answer the public. Now let me show you how you can do it. Another super powerful tool that you must use is called Answer the Public. So basically, this is a website where with very good visual keyword tool. And this powerful thing only allows you to do free search once a day. So that's why when you do this uh, research on this Answer the Public, remember to really choose your keyword carefully. This powerful platform actually helps you to generate a lot more ideas just using one simple keyword. Let me give you an example. So my topic is about travel for free. So let me just once again, search on related topics that people are searching for, for travel for free. There you go, the website is loading. Remember, you can only use it once a day for a one IP address. Uh, travel for free, there are 53 questions. And uh, if you expand it, so if you expand it, you can see that there are many different kind of categories. So for example, under can, can I travel for free? This is what people are looking for. Can pilots travel for free? Can you travel for free? And can babies travel for free on plane? So these are the kind of questions that look, uh, people are looking for. And if you see the dots, okay, this is green. Over here, once you go to the below, these are like, um, it become the color faded. It also means number of uh, searches. So the more green it is, the more searches that people are looking for on the internet. All right, so if you want to create video content first, just focus on those questions that with very green dots because that means these questions are highly searched for on the internet. So that's uh, under can. So how about how, right? Under how, people are also looking for how to travel for free 2019, okay, how to travel for free in India, and how to travel for free and get paid. 
So these are questions that I can answer during my next video, some of the content that I can create immediately for my next blog post that is related to my niche, which is teaching people how to travel for free. All right, so if you scroll down, okay, there are even more stuff below, okay? 65 prepositions. For example, uh, travel for free in India, travel for free with credit cards okay so i can talk about a topic on how can i travel for free using credit card how can i uh, use credit card to earn miles and travel for free on airplane that's possible so how about here with with all right so travel for free with credit cards again travel for free with family okay i can do a video on is it possible to travel for free with family because travel for free for one person is easy but how about with family and it's totally doable because i i did that so many times with my family i brought them all over the world for free all right so uh two travel for free to volunteer so how how can i travel for free and volunteer at the same time so that's another video idea so travel for free 11 comparison so visually they are trying to compare all right uh travel for free on a cargo ship uh, i've never done that before so i can't really uh, make a video but how about this travel for free and get paid this is very easy and i've been doing that so yeah this is one of the topics that i can do as well and if you want to go for alphabetical order there is a to all the way to z share with you the ideas that you can use for your own niche as well and last but not least is uh, 20 related so travel for free UK, travel for free in London. These are the key terms that people are searching for. We just one simple website. There are so many keyword ideas that literally just using a click of button, you generate more than easily two years of a video content idea right here. And the powerful thing is you can actually download, okay? Download the whole file as a Excel, Okay, now let me download and show you. So now I have downloaded to my Mac and once I open it, just now it was all in diagram. Now everything is just in words and if you find it's easier for you to sort it out, then by all means use this and the next thing you need to do is to uh, really write down or note down the kind of uh, keywords questions that you want to start addressing for your video content. I hope you like this video. If you like it, remember to give it a thumbs up.